Good day, I'm Pumi Mlambo with your midday news updates. Legal battle between Old Mutual and Moyo continues. CR17 banking record sealed. Activists abducted, tortured ahead of masses in protests. This the South Gauteng High Court will hear round two of the legal battle involving Old Mutual and an on and off again CEO Peter Moyo. This time the Johannesburg Court will decide whether Moyo should immediately return to work despite a despite a pending appeal. The insurance giant fired the CEO in July claiming the board lost confidence in him. The public won't have access to financial records of Cyril Ramaphosa's 2017 NC presidential campaign. North Houghton High Court Deputy Judge President Aubrey Ledwaba ruled the information be sealed. The president argued that the documents were illegally obtained. Ramaphosa's lawyers and the public protector's team met with the judge on Thursday after Ramaphosa's complaint. Widespread protests are expected throughout Zimbabwe on Friday despite emerging reports of abduction and torture of activists. The country's trade union at the opposition movement for the country's trade union and the opposition movement for democratic change party are protesting austerity measures. The MDC has stressed demonstrations will be peaceful. And Siwesikoko has your sports news updates. <laughs> Thank you for me with your sports news. I'm Andy Suesi Koko. Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo and Virgil van Dijk have been nominated for this year's UEFA Men's Player of the Year Award. European Football's governing board announced this yesterday. The winner will be announced from one of the trials during the draw of the Champions League group stage in Monaco on the 29th of August. Van Dijk joined Messi and Ronaldo, the two ionic players of their generation on the shortlist after staring in defence for Liverpool as they won their sixth Champions League and came close in winning their first domestic league title in 29 years last season. Back at home, Cape Town City have announced that they have renewed the contract of captain fullback Tamsang Mkize for another three seasons. Mkize has proved to be an ever present in recent times for the citizens under coach Benny McCarthy, who is always quick to sing the praises of the defender. The 30 year old was the starting right back at the recent Africa Cup of Nations tournament in Egypt for Bafana Bafana. And lastly, former Bafana Bafana coach Stuart Baxter has slammed Jomo Sono for suggesting that he picked his squads based on the influence of agents. Baxter recently stepped down from, from the national team job after seeing Bafana bowed out of the Africa Cup of Nations tournament in the quarterfinal stages. Sono came out and accused the Englishman of being influenced by agent in terms of selecting certain players. Baxter, however, replied that Sono is talking nonsense and the facts don't support what he's saying and why don't people just move on. That's all from Sports News. Goodbye. We now take a look at your traffic and weather updates. Taking a look at our roads this afternoon, in 4 is on Vitkopen Road, traffic lights not working at Rosam Road, expect delays. In Marlboro Gardens on Marlboro Drive, traffic lights not working at Zinia Drive, expect delays. In Santon on Catherine Street, traffic lights not working at Reader Road East, expect delays. Having a look at our weather updates this afternoon, Johannesburg is at 23 degrees Celsius, mid is at 24 degrees Celsius, and Soweto is at 23 degrees Celsius. Back to the news desk. That's it for me and the rest of the Jobic TV team. Goodbye.